today's weather. All right, so here we go. This is my solar array that's producing 100% power for my net zero home. But there's one thing that people don't realize, um, in addition to providing all my electricity, um, we typically advocate ground mounts and so forth, so my first preference isn't to have it on the roof, but here at my home I have no choice. Uh, but one, ad be one added benefit to being on the roof is that it kills two birds with one stone here. First, of course, is that it produces all of my power, but when you've covered most of your southern exposure with modules, you really have, there isn't really that much space where the sun is, is actually striking the roof. And in turn, you're actually, it's actually easier to keep your house cool because it's dissipating a lot of that heat. And to prove that, we're gonna take a shot here and we'll see that the roof here is 170 degrees, 183. But when I shine it underneath the modules, like so, it's 125. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But if we take the best case scenario, it's a 58 degree difference between the temperature underneath the modules and the temperatures of the shingles being subjected to the sunlight. So not only are we getting, reaping the benefit of the power, but it's because the, the modules are off of the roof line, that heat is absorbed by the modules, which we'll take a picture of right here take a shot so the modules themselves some of it may be reflecting off this may not this temperature may not be exact because the infrared light that hits it may be dissipated in some way when it bounces off but it's saying it's 146 um, like I said the roof is 180 170 180 depends on where you are now on the flat section of the roof we've got just about everything covered in modules but we we did a raised seam metal roof which will, that kills two things, and it's a white roof, as you can see. So whatever sun isn't in hitting the modules is actually striking the roof, is be re being reflected back. So we're saving energy there. But in, in addition to that, because of this raised seam, we're able to have no penetrations whatsoever on this roof. Um, all the connections are made with S5 connectors. So no penetrations, white roof, reflecting the heat away. And of course those modules are on top, uh, doing an even better job of keeping the, the earth's heat out of our house. All right, so we're, just gonna, so we're gonna shoot the white roof here just to see what this is doing. Oh, let's go to Fahrenheit. So we're at 100, if you can see this, 123, 120. 22, 124, it'll change a little bit. All these roof temperatures will change because some of the roof is a little darker than the others, particularly on the shingles, but here if there's some dirt, it might absorb a little bit more energy because it's darker. All right, and now we're gonna shoot underneath. So we're getting 120, 117, 122. It's pretty comparable, pretty close. Pretty amazing that there's almost Seems to be little variation between the two. I suspect that's because the metal may transfer heat a little bit better. But you can see in the shade here, we're at 105 behind the chimney. But the white roof does a heck of a job. Want to learn more about sustainability, renewable energy, EV charging, or anything else in between? Contact me at njrenewableenergy.com. Thank you.